the lamb now. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. na parku klití, na náboženské význaní a společenskou příslušnost výzvu k ještě večnému úsilí za trvalý měr na celom světě. Chci světat v měře, k Marsu, po nastajáčemu politě. The attempt to end six years of failure in the U.S.'s moon program got underway shortly before noon today at Cape Kennedy. This is a hard phrase to say, but I think it's a necessary one. It would be an instantaneous death, would it not? I think that's a fair assumption. Command override off. Engine arm off. Point 13 is in. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. 32 minutes past the hour. Liftoff on Apollo 11. And we're getting a picture on the TV. Absolutely no trouble to uh, walk around. Really is. All right, go ahead, Mr. President. This is Houston out. Hello, Hello Neil and Buzz. I'm talking to you by telephone from the Oval Room at the White House. And this certainly has to be the most historic telephone call ever made from the White House. Uh, Roger, it looks like uh, Neil is coming in bye-bye there at uh, 11. Uh... Roger, right, we copy? Yep. Uh... Okay, it's in the full room now. We were there to do a job, not to satisfy the very easy questions of people for the next 40 years of what did it feel like on the moon. We didn't go there to do that. We went there to perform certain things, uh, not to write poems about it, not to uh, uh, pontificate uh, about the grandeur. Exactly 45 years ago, almost to the minute, Jack became one of the last Americans to land on the moon. Today we pledge that he will not be the last, and I suspect we'll be finding other places to land in addition to the moon. What do you think, Jack? Where's Jack? What do you think, Jack?